Honey, I need you to say, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh, unmovable, or immovable as the word says. But guess what? Being steadfast and immovable, but there's something else you gotta do. Yeah, God always abound. In other words, there is no retreat in God. You gotta keep going forward. You better not fail. You better hit fail. You stand on the other thing. All you need to know is that the enemy is trying to take you out. As long as I should care, as long as the word of the Lord is still alive, he said, heaven, Lisha, and earth shall pass away. I'm preaching better than you responding. He said, heaven and earth will pass away, but behold, my word shall stand forever. And I'm telling you, that God's word, son, can outlast any problem you face in this earth. But you gotta believe it. Nothing. Psalms, Luke 1, I'm sorry, Psalms, Luke 137, nothing is impossible. And that's where we lose the momentum in the in-between place. It is to weaken you. It is to cause you to lose faith. It is cause you to lose trust. And you gotta shake yourself like a wild animal, like a wild bear and go, wait, 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 let me focus. What's the real deal here? What am I really dealing with? Who am I dealing with? And when you put things in proper perspective, the presence of God comes. The peace, Raymond, comes. You hear me, son? It, I know your name now because my husband's name is that. It, the peace comes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. I must read 23 8 one more time. How shall I curse whom God had not cursed? So I have a question to ask you Are you cursed? Because you're the only one can answer that. Loves, are you cursed? No. It may look like it sometimes, but guess what? Looks are what? Deceiving. Hallelujah. How shall I defy? And this is what he said. You want me to openly resist these people? Openly resist them? Whom the Lord has not defied? Where am I get the strength to openly resist who God, who God is protecting? No yeah. enemy have that kind of power over you. We give him that power, Jen, with our tongue. We cause Satan, uh, we give Satan a lot of credit and we help him along the way. Because he's the only accuser of the brethren. God will never accuse a brethren. And when we side with him, we're helping him, empowering him. And that can make us see a false uh, sense or a false narrative thinking that he has power. What makes us think Satan has power? He does have some power, but what gives him energy and more power is when we join ranks with him. In our confession, in our thinking, in our actions. We side with the enemy. And that's what emboldens him. But the day you say, I'm not signing with you anymore. I'm not, I'm not in cahoots with you anymore. I'm not in agreement. You break covenant with him. That's the day you walk in the power and the strength of Almighty God. Am I helping you? I need to move on. Isaiah, run with me in Isaiah. Isaiah 10, 27. Praise God. It says, and it shall come to pass. I'm so glad that in the word of God there are scriptures like this. Yes. But we need some things to come to pass. Yes. And it shall come to pass. Say it shall come to pass. Yes. In that day. You don't know how close you are to your day of deliverance. Yes. before it can then manifest. Yes. My son, my youngest, our third born, told me, he said, Mom, I just feel like something good's about to happen. I said, praise God. I wasn't feeling it, but he was, and I jumped, jumped on his bandwagon. I said, you feel it? I'm a wide joy, baby. Hallelujah. 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 That's what you got to do sometimes. Bear up us. Bear us up on wings of eagle, baby. 
If I find Adrian can pick me up, I'll say, come pick me up. I'll just be like this. But I don't want to hurt my son. I don't want to hurt him. Hallelujah. Maybe another day. Hallelujah. And it shall come to pass in that day that his burden shall be taken away from off thy shoulder. His burden. Somebody need to shout now. The burden. represents that's when you, you're, you're free. That's your mobility. I, I worked out uh, just a little bit. And when we work out, they always, after my workout class, they always, Renita, tell me I have to stretch. I'm like, well, why? Well, that's so you don't get tight. Because if you tight, it constricts your mobility. But if I stretch, I have all the mobility and the momentum I need. Here's another thing. I'm going to take the yoke from off of your neck. Why does the enemy put a yoke around your neck? The shoulders represent the oppression that he places. So if I'm not stretched out, I can I am restricted. Amen. And if the yoke is around my neck, it constricts my vocal cord, which means I cannot speak. I cannot speak. You put your yoke around my neck, I will not be able to speak. So what is he trying to do? I want to weigh you down, anchor you down with oppression, then I'm going to chuck you so you cannot speak. Not only can you not speak, you can't breathe. And if you can't breathe, you can't live. God has a word. He said, I'm going to take it from your shoulder. And I'm going to take it off of your neck. And the yoke shall be destroyed. Because of the anointing. What you talking about God? While the enemy is viewing you from afar. Consumed that you are outflanked. God is building an anointing. They out for the count. Yeah. I got them now. And God said, what you think you see, you don't see at all. All I'm building is momentum. And you cannot have momentum, come on now, if you're constantly moving. Sometimes you got to stand and see what God is doing. I have a word for you today. The Bible says stand and see the salvation of God. So he can start moving you. Oh, you don't understand what I'm saying today. See, when I'm under attack, the devil miss it. Because he think he got me down. But all I do is go down even deeper. Oh, you, don't know, you don't know this woman of God. You don't know, really know me. No, you don't. You think you do, but you don't. All that does is add fuel to me. Oh, that's like food to me. So then it tells me what you think I can. I'll come back and show you what I can do. Hallelujah. With God on my side. And you need to learn from your teacher this morning that when the enemy thinks you got you down, when you listen to Pastor Tim, when you think you're out for the count, I told you yesterday, and Nikki and you said you ought to preach it. I'm not preaching it, but I will share with them what I told you yesterday. He said the yoke will be destroyed. I'm going to take it off of your shoulders. I'm going to take it off of your neck. And how I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it through the anointing. And so therefore, you got to understand that the anointing represents the presence of God and the power of God. And so God uses his presence and his power to destroy what the enemy has. I'll say it one more time. He used his presence and his power. And you need to always get in the presence and experience his power. When you go in his 
presence yeah. and experience of power, yeah. every yoke will be destroyed. Yeah. Not one yoke can remain. I may not have much of a voice when I finish, but it will be well yeah. worth it. Hallelujah. of God takes you, Elizabeth, from one level of glory to another. <laughs> and you can't reach the apex of the glory of God without going through something. We want the anointing, but we don't want the struggle. <laughs> and God says, no struggle, no gain. God says, so There is no gain when you're looking for the easy road and everything. But when you can take the road of difficulty, when you can take the road of stress, when you can take the road of persecution, when you can take the road of hardship, when you can take the road of heartbreak, God said, now you're in my hand. What you mean, God? He said, now I can release my presence, huh? because there's room now. You're empty. You're low, Dwayne, as low as you can go. And sometimes God gets the glory when we get so low that there's no, my honey told me last night, no, not him, some one of the children, one of y'all. You told me last time, huh? when you get so low, there's no other place to go but 